Hello guys, welcome to Creative Learning with Aru and Nathar. Today we are going to practice some of the Olympiad problems in maths. So this is the question first. The greatest five digit odd number formed by using the digits each only once. Uh, here we are given five digits, five, nine, two, zero, three. And we have to create the greatest five digit odd number using all these digits. <coughs> if we want to create the uh, greatest uh, number, uh, if, if we don't consider this condition odd number, then the answer would be very simple. Uh, we have to just arrange the digits in the descending order and now we will get our answer. But in this question, the condition is uh, we have to create the greatest five digit odd number and odd numbers have are those numbers which uh, cannot be divided by two. So in this case, on the first we will now what will approach the approach would be first we will create five placeholders like this and at the unit place and at the unit place we can uh, we can write 3 and we can write 5 and uh, since it's the greatest number so we can assume that the uh, uh, fifth place will always have the 9 so uh, there are two uh, options well, the first place would be 3 the other place would be uh, 5 now if we arrange the remaining digits in the descending order so we will get 5 2 0 and here we will get 3 2 0 we are just simply arranging the remaining digits in these placeholders so we get two numbers uh, two odd numbers like 95203 and 93205 out of these two numbers uh, we can easily see that this is the number which is greatest. So the answer for this question would be 95203 is the greatest for five digit number which will be formed by using these digits. Let's look at question number two. Alice, um, Alice has a jug uh, full of juice. The total quantity of the juice is 5 liter and 40 milliliters. So this is the one condition that is given. The other, uh, the other, the juice needs to be poured equally into twelve glasses. So we have a jug uh, of juice which is uh, five liter, forty milliliter in quantity, and we need to pour this into twelve glasses. And we have to put it into twelve glasses equally. So how do we? Uh, we simply know that if we want to divide something equally we have to use the division so uh, the is uh, but we cannot divide this number directly because one thing uh, is 5 liter and another is 40 milliliter so we need to bring it into single unit like we know that one liter is thousand milliliters so five liter would be easily equal to 5000 milliliters right so the total quantity of juice would be uh, very easily we can uh, understand it will be 5000 plus 40 5040 milliliters and we have to divide this uh, quantity of juice equally into 12 glasses so 5040 will have to be divided by 12 so we will get 420 ml of juice in each glass and that is the question which is being asked how much juice is poured into each glass it will be 420 ml of juice will be poured in each glass equally let's proceed to the third question find the sum of fourth multiples of each of the given numbers we are given three numbers 5 8 and 12 we have to find the sum of the fourth multiples now uh, if we talk about multiples multiples is something uh, that we get uh, if we multiply the given number with some other counting number like for example uh, if we divide if we multiply 2 with 4 we'll get 8 so this is the 
वी कैन से एट इज द फोर्थ मल्टीपल ऑफ टू दिस इज द वे इट इज डन सो सिमिलर वे दे इज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स इन दिस वी डिवाइड द बिगर नंबर इन टू इज डिवाइडिंग फैक्टर्स सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फोर्थ मल्टीपल्स ऑफ दीज थ्री नंबर्स फर्स्ट सो द फोर्थ मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव विल बी फाइव टाइम्स फोर इट विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मल्टीपल ऑफ एट इज एट टाइम्स फोर विच विल बी थर्टी टू एंड फोर्थ मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व इज ट्वेल्व टाइम्स फोर फोर्टी एट सो ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज टेक द सम ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन सम ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज and this will be equal to 100 and this will be the answer for this question now let's take another question we have a, a person rachel rachel takes 1 by 4th of an hour of an hour to draw a picture how much time will she take to make nine such pictures so we uh, 1 by 4th of an hour Uh, Rachel is taking to uh, make a picture. So we can uh, do it like this: one by fourth of an hour is equal to fifteen minutes. Uh, so we can uh, easily say that in fifteen minutes, in fifteen minutes, uh, Rachel is drawing one picture. so for one picture is uh, she is taking uh, 15 minutes so for nine pictures will take nine times 15 which will be equal to 135 minutes there the uh, we uh, and how do we got this 15 if you are still confused about it uh, we know that one hour is equal to 16 60 minutes sorry 60 minutes and uh, so one uh, if we divide both sides by 4 simply uh, so we will get 1 by 4 hour 1 by 4th of an hour will be the uh, 15 minutes so that is another uh, way to get to this uh, and the rest question is very simple in 15 minutes uh, she is drawing one so this is a question number 5 uh, 20 chairs and 15 tables were purchased For a hotel, if each chair cost to be one hundred and ten and the table cost to be two hundred and thirty-five, then the total amount to be paid is. <coughs> so, if uh, uh, we can, uh, all we have to do is calculate the total amount that needs to be paid. So, total amount we need to calculate. We have chairs, and we have tables. so all we have to do is uh, uh, we can uh, get the total cost for chairs by multiplying the 20 chairs and with their price because uh, each chair cost to be 110 so 20 chairs will cost uh, 20 times of 110 another would be one table cost to be 235 and we have purchased 15 tables so we have to multiply this number now this is very simple uh 2200 and uh, this uh, we have uh, 3525 so all we have to do is uh, add these numbers so the total price that needs to be paid is uh, rupees 5725 it's a very standard question and is the very time as in olympiads uh, Uh, sometimes it it can be modified to pencil and pen and uh, eraser problem or something else so all uh, in which a unit a unit price is given and the total number of item that is purchased is given and we have to calculate the total cost so we have let's uh, one check one small the product okay so this is fine <clears throat> the last question is uh, and this question is actually for you guys to try once and uh, i will post the answer for this tomorrow 
and you read this question i am going to read this question you try to solve it on your own by trying to um, and applying on the comments the question is we have eight packets of juice of 250 ml each are poured into a jug how much juice is left in the jug if 800 ml of juice has been consumed so which means that we have eight uh you can say packets of juice each packet juice is 250 ml and this is and all this juice is poured into a jug so there will be some total quantity and then out of this something is consumed and we have to give the answer in these options so do post in the comments uh the answer of this question and i will tell you the detailed solution tomorrow thank you bye